Is it true that physical exercise can have benefits for sexual health? What are the effects of using sex toys on sexual life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Regular exercise improves cardiovascular health, circulation, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases, benefiting sexual health. Additionally, it promotes the release of endorphins, improving mood and sexual response. Sex toys can increase sexual arousal and pleasure, help discover new sensations and fantasies, as well as improve communication and connection in the couple. In Middle Eastern countries, sexual education may be a taboo subject and subject to cultural and religious restrictions, making access to accurate information on sexual and reproductive health difficult. Mobile Applications There are mobile applications dedicated to the Kama Sutra that offer interactive guides, tips, and tutorials on different sexual positions and techniques to enhance intimacy in couples. Modern Interpretations over time, the Kama Sutra has been subject to modern reinterpretations and adaptations that have made it more accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences, demonstrating its ability to evolve with the times. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. Myths about masturbation. Throughout history, female masturbation has been surrounded by taboos and myths, such as the fear that it causes health problems or affects virginity, which have been discredited by science. Myths about virginity. Virginity is a socially constructed concept and can have different meanings for different people and cultures. There is no one way to define the loss of virginity, and it does not have to be exclusively associated with vaginal penetration. Need for professional consultation. If premature ejaculation significantly interferes with a man's sexual life and emotional well-being, it is important to seek professional help from a doctor, sexual therapist, or counselor to find the best management and treatment strategies. In the Netherlands, sex education focuses on prevention and contraception and is considered one of the most comprehensive programs in the world. Despite openness on this topic, the Netherlands has one of the lowest teenage pregnancy rates in Europe. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Non-physical contact. Foreplay. Foreplay doesn't always involve direct physical contact. Women can enjoy more subtle foreplay, such as sending flirty text messages, exchanging seductive looks, or sharing sexual fantasies, which can increase anticipation and desire. Not for everyone. While open relationships work well for some people, they are not suitable for everyone. Some people find more satisfaction in traditional monogamous relationships, and it's okay to have different preferences regarding relationship styles. Online sexual education has gained popularity and serves as an accessible source of information on sexual health, diversity, and relationships. Open communication. Open and honest communication during foreplay is crucial for understanding each couple's preferences and boundaries. Talking about what is enjoyable and what is not can improve the sexual experience and strengthen the emotional connection. Orgasm in pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. This can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Origin of fetishes. 
fetishes can develop from early experiences, emotional associations, cultural influences, or simply sexual arousal towards a particular object. Oxytocin and emotional bonding, oxytocin, known as the love hormone or cuddle hormone, is released during sex and orgasm. It plays a crucial role in the emotional bond between partners. Pain shouldn't be ignored. While some initial discomfort during anal sex is common, persistent pain can be a sign that something is wrong. Pain should not be ignored, and open communication is key. Partner support. Communication and mutual support are essential in any sexual relationship, including anal sex. Willingness to adapt to the needs and desires of the partner is crucial. Passion for learning. Showing interest in learning new things and continuing intellectual growth can be attractive. Pelvic floor training toys. Kegel exercises are beneficial for strengthening the pelvic floor. Additionally, there are sex toys specifically designed for pelvic floor training, which can help improve sexual health and prevent incontinence. Penis size. There is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Pharmacological treatment. In severe cases, doctors may prescribe medications such as antidepressants or local anesthetics to help control premature ejaculation. However, these should be used under medical supervision due to possible side effects. Physical benefits. Foreplay is not only beneficial for sexual pleasure, but can also have positive effects on physical health, such as stress reduction, mood improvement, and strengthening the immune system. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Pornography and addiction. There is debate within the scientific community about whether pornography can be addictive, with some studies suggesting that certain individuals may develop a pattern of compulsive consumption similar to other addictions. Pornography and sex education. There are debates about whether pornography should have a role in sex education, as some argue it may provide misleading or unrealistic information about sex and relationships. Pornography and sexual perception. Pornography can influence sexual perception and expectations, but it's important to recognize that pornography does not necessarily reflect reality and can distort ideas about sex, the body, and intimate relationships. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Post-orgasm sensitivity. After an orgasm, some women may experience increased sensitivity in erogenous zones, making them more responsive to additional stimulation. Postpartum secondary anorgasmia. After childbirth, some women experience secondary anorgasmia due to hormonal changes, fatigue, stress, or concerns related to motherhood. Postures and positioning. Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.